Hi everyone, it's Ms. Velasquez, and today I'm going to talk to you about what's inside an egg. On the table, Ms. Velasquez prepared two eggs. The first one is the uncooked egg, and the other one is a hard-boiled egg that Ms. Velasquez had to cook. Both eggs are from the supermarket. Look at the eggs closely and help Ms. Velasquez answer some questions. How are these two eggs different? The uncooked egg is still gelatinous or jelly-like, while the hard-boiled egg is already cooked inside. Now, how are these two eggs the same? Both of them still have the yellow part, which is the yolk, and both of them have the white part, and they both have shells. Now let's talk about the different parts of an egg. This is the eggshell, and on the eggshells are tiny holes that allow air to go in and out. They are too tiny for you to see. Inside the shell is an air sac. This is where oxygen is stored for the chicks to breathe in and out. In the egg is the yolk, which is the yellow part. That is the food of the chick while the chick is still growing inside the egg. The white part of the egg is called the albumin. The albumin is the shock absorber. It protects the chick from getting hurt. Another part of an egg that I would like to talk about is the shell membrane. That's the white part that you can peel off from the eggshells. That helps the chicks and protects them from bacteria. If you look closely on the egg, you will see that there is a strand-like structure over here that is called the chalaza. The chalaza is like a little string that holds the yolk in place or in the middle of the egg. And for eggs with chicks in them, there is a little part called the embryo. An embryo is a white spot that will grow into a chick. Here are some fun facts. Do you know that hummingbirds have the tiniest eggs and ostrich eggs are the largest?